For number 9, we are going to find the distance between these two points, 4, negative 2 and negative 2, negative 3. This is how we are going to do it. This is our first point. Let's label this as x1, y1. And then the second point, we will have x2, y2. And this is the formula that we need right here. The formula says the distance between two points is the square root of parentheses x1 minus x2 and then raised to a second power and then we add it with another parentheses y1 minus y2 raised to the second power. Here we have all the numbers being labeled already so we just have to draw in the numbers into the formula and then work out the computation. Of course, we have to remember this formula when the question is asking us to find distance between two points. So, it says we first open a big square root, and then we have this parentheses right here. x1, we know this is equal to 4, so we put down the number 4. And then we subtract the value of x2. x2 is equal to negative 2, so we put down negative 2 right here. And I will use a parenthesis with that. And this parenthesis is raised to the second power. And then we add it with another parenthesis. y1 is this negative 2. So I put down negative 2 right here. And then we are going to subtract y2, which is going to be negative 3. So we put down negative 3 right here with a parenthesis. And then we raise that to the second power. So this right here is the setup. And now we just have to follow the word of operation, which it says we are going to work this inside out. And make sure that you do not cancel the square root and the squares. That's not correct. Anyways, we focus on the inside. Here, we are talking about 4 minus negative 2. That's the same as saying 4 plus 2. And we know that's going to be 6. And we still have this parentheses. And then raised to a second power. And then we work this out. Negative 2 minus negative 3. That's the same as negative 2 plus 3. And we know negative 2 plus 3, that will give us 1. So we have the 1 and put it in the parentheses and raise to a second power. And we still have the addition in between. And we still have the big square root on the outside. And of course, then we bring down the equal sign. So that's what we have. And once again, we do this inside out. Do not cancel the square root and the squares. So we have to work out the 6 to a second power. Let me just put this down right here. 6 to a second power, that will give us 36. And then we also look at 1 to the second power, 1 times 1, that will give us 1. And then we add the 36 plus 1. And don't forget, we still have the square root. Well, we do this once again inside out. 36 plus 1, that will give us 37. And then we still have the square root on our side. And now, square root of 37, the good thing right here is that we cannot simplify this. This is the most that we can do. Therefore, this is the answer, and that's answer choice C. That's it.